What is going on guys? Shummel Gaming back here this time with another Wulong boss guide. This time we are on Lu Bei, I believe would be the uh, appropriate pronunciation of this boss. This boss is using a lot of lightning abilities, so because of that we know that he is a wood elemental and the weakness to wood in this game is going to be metal. Uh, and so we're going to go back to the hidden village here and we're going to respec. You can kind of play around with this a little bit, but just make sure you have at least 40 points in the metal ability so that we can get the Venom Snare wizardy spell, which is going to do a ton of uh, toxin damage to this boss, which will be the boss's weakness. So you can, again, just play around with that a little bit, but just make sure you have 40 points in the metal tree. And then under the wizardy spells, this is going to be the top wizardy spell in the metal phase. Again, Venom, Venom Snare. The other one that I recommend using is the weapon in, uh, enhancement ability where you apply tox, uh, basically toxin to your weapons to do extra toxin damage. Uh, and then the third or fourth um, wizardy spells you can use are kind of up to you. I'm still using Vitality. I pretty much have always used that in every fight to help you and your companions stay alive. But again, just make sure you have the toxin weapon and the venom snare abilities attached they're going to do a ton of damage to this boss and when we get into the boss fight you'll see and then also while you're in the hidden village uh, let's go down and let's visit the armorer uh, just uh, make sure of course you have all of your weapons and uh, armor upgraded all the way but really the reason we're here is we're going to go and we're going to change some of the jewels in our gear as far as the armor i'm going to recommend that you attach lightning resistance to most of your armor again this boss is going to do a ton of lightning damage so the more resistance we have to that the longer we can stay alive and then if you want also while you're here you can add uh, extra toxin attack power to either your weapons or armor that will help with the venom snare ability that we're basically just going to spam uh spam on this boss to do a ton of damage and so the more jewels you have with the toxin attack power the more damage you're going to do as far as the divine beast i do recommend using tangji uh, this is going to be kind of like the poison or toxin divine beast that you are, will have at this point in the game of course before we go into the boss fight I recommend summoning a second companion. I'm going to use Zhao Yun because uh, he's my sworn brother, so uh, you will get more buffs from him. But once let's get into this boss fight. As soon as we hit get into the, into the boss fight, we're going to use the Venom Snare, and you can see that this is going to hit the boss. And not only is it going to do damage, but it's going to do a DOT or damage over time effect. And you can see that just one little um spell has already done a decent chunk of his health bar and that's basically what we're going to do for this entire fight i do a pretty sloppy job here in the beginning of uh deflecting or dodging his abilities but just keep using this venom snare ability keep um casting the toxin weapon so that when we do attack him you're doing damage but again i'm not really going to attack this boss i'm basically just going to kind of stay at mid-range from him and just keep using venom snare over and over again this is going to be one of his abilities that we have to do deflect He's going to use like three different missiles. You can deflect one, but you also have to deflect the third. So just be ready for that one. We're going to raise his bar to the spirit bar, but I'm not quite ready to go in and land a fatal strike. My companions actually messed that up. So I probably would have got this boss down a lot quicker. I also don't have my divine beast up for this run. So if I would have hit that first uh, fatal blow and I would have had divine beast, I probably would have rocked this guy pretty hard. But again, you will see, I'm just staying away. I'm just casting this Venom Snare ability, and it's going to do a ton of damage. It's basically going to be the whole fight. Again, just stay at mid-range. Use your health potions to make sure that you're always at uh, full health. So when he does hit you, it's not going to one-shot you. Make sure you're casting your Vitality to help keep you and your companions alive and just staying at mid-range and constantly using that Venom Snare ability. It's gonna keep doing uh, a damage over time effect on him. And that's really, you're just basically kind of just waiting for this Venom Snare ability to kill the boss. Um, and we're just stay, staying away and just trying to stay alive. That's really the best method I found for this guy. I'm trying to run up to him and attacking him with a melee weapon. It didn't really work. Using different martial arts abilities was kind of the same thing. He kind of punished me. And he's pretty much always in the air using these lightning abilities. Uh, this is his other ability that we need to flack, but I'm just going to dodge that one. I'm going to get hit a little bit here. I'm going to get a little bit sloppy here again towards the end. Uh, luckily, stay alive here by using vitality and health potions. And we're going to de uh, deflect some of his abilities. And then we're going to get in. And we're going to raise the spirit bar one more time. But this time, we will land the fight, uh, fatal strike and just keep using Venom Snare. 
I hope this video was helpful. If it is, I would appreciate a like. I have plenty of Wulong boss guides and Shima guides on the channel already, and hopefully many more to come as well. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and good luck with taking down this boss, because he was pretty challenging.